Hi and welcome to another video from RA3D at Purdue. Um, here we, we are showing off what we expect to be a very uh, simple and a good way to get the high climb using purely passive hooks. Um, it does come with a few limitations. First of all, due to the time constraints and a few hiccups we had along the way trying different methods, our hook geometry and uh, the way certain things are mounted does not make it work in its current state. However, a few quick changes as we'll show, mostly using the center hook that can be translated to the two uh, quote unquote passive or like stationary hooks on the side. Uh, in the, I think would make it, we, we believe would uh, make it work rather well for this climb. Uh, yeah, just a little bit of geometry changes, stuff like that. But I'm gonna pass it off to Matthew to kind of walk us through and explain the design. Yeah, so this is just basically a two-stage uh, elevator. Yeah, a two-stage elevator. Uh, it's pretty small, but that's not its defining feature. Uh, we're just here to show that it can, in fact, make the first rung with this pop-up hook, it'll start out as opened, and then we lift up the entire bot, and these hooks on the side will pop up and grab on, like that, grab onto the rung. Now again, some of the hooks are not really to the right geometry, so it won't actually work in this state, but use your imagination. And so then, we move on to the next rung. We just lift up the stages, and this hook functions similarly, where it pops down and pops back up and then climbs onto the next rung. And then we lift the whole bot up again. Yes, just like that. Again, we do the same for the third rung. Lift up the top stage. This is difficult. <laughs> and then we grab on. And then we lift up the entire bot. Uh. Work in progress. Yeah, it's a work in progress. But yeah, the geometry does work out that the bumpers will be above the mid rung, so that would be a high climb. And you can also move it to the left or right as needed, and it might even help with supporting your bumper on the support structures on the side. Uh, nope. Is there anything else we need to say about it? Yes. All right. Um, there are a few caveats to this that we covered through our CAD. Um, first of all, to get this completely flat up against, this is where we put a, a bumper gap. So that way our chassis would sit directly against it. We weren't having to do any angled thing, anything like that. Um, on top of this, just kind of explain um, why it, how we managed to keep it so simple, right? Um, this only has two motors. It is the two motors who physically drive the elevator to keep the reduction low and keep it you know, moving semi-quick. There's nothing that powers these hooks. That's why it would only work in, uh, for the in-game climb in its current state or only the auto climb, whichever you would prefer. Um, but the idea is that you could do either some sort of small polycarb sheet or something up against the edge. You could maybe, I'd have to read the game manual further, we think you could maybe even get away with something like a 16th polycarb or something like that, really, really thin to use as a sponsor panels or something similar, similar to how people uh, did coil deflectors last year and work it into your bumper weight if needed. Um, so that way you could use that to block the hooks and then the second they rise above that uh, for that first and their only climb of the match, that is when they can spring out, which means they are allowed to be outside of frame perimeter as your one direction extension. Um, we'd love to test this more and it, let's see what time allows after the three days even to test and try and get better hooks and mount this. But in its current state and with the width of this and all of that, uh, using some bevel gears to mount the gearboxes sideways. We, rough math, think this climb could be as fast as about 10 to 12 seconds. Um, and with our current chassis being a 27 and a half inch uh, square, so the max frame, but in the uh, kind of square, more standard configuration, this could fit between the square modules on one side. So you're not losing as much hopper space as you might think, because you're just losing a little bit of extension on one side. Um, but yeah. That's our climber.